Beer. Hey, it's that time of year where little gifts like this are always welcome. If you want to watch how I made this beer carry, stick around and watch today's episode. I'll wait till later. Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to the shed. Follow me down the drive. So today, we've got a new toy in the workshop. Let's get it unpacked and set it up. Okay, so that's the bandsaw unboxed. I'm not gonna film assembling the whole thing. Um, there's gonna be lots of swearing, lots of um, ouch each as I drop the screws and bolts over here because I've had a quick flick through the instructions. I'm gonna get it assembled, then we're gonna have a quick look at it. But, and then I'm going to build today's project, which, funny enough, might require the bandsaw. See you in a minute. So, best check the measurements that are required. I marked these up a while ago, but I thought, just see where I'm going today. So, this cardboard beer carrier is approximately 140 millimeters wide, but obviously, the material that makes it up is millimeters thick. So, that is the beer minimum that's going to be required. And we're talking roughly 200 millimeters long. So let's replace that and put some beer in the mix instead. So luckily in the shed, I have quite a lot of beer. I don't know why, but I seem to um, hoard it. Some of it for a long time. So we're looking for a couple of cans and a bottle, approximately 230 millimeters long. Obviously there's gonna be some I've got some space in there for the spacers. So if we add, oh, do, 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 do. the board is, uh, what's the board? The board is 18 millimeters thick. So we add that on the end of each side. So it's gonna be approximately 260 millimeters long. And uh, if we go for two beers, space in between, in between. it's 140 millimeters wide we'll add some extra boards on the width thickness so we're talking about 180 millimeters wide so let's say 260 by 180 so there's our measurements for the actual base piece we know the width of the side pieces we'll work out the height to cover the handle so i'm talking approximately 240 high uh, we've got plenty left on the end of the boards that's fine so, best get cut in this. Got lots of dusty, dusty bottles. The router finger joint jig is a direct copy of a recent David Pachuto video over on makesomething.tv. I will post a link to the video down below. So, first time through with this on some proper wood, I did it with some plywood earlier. Needless to say, lots of chips flying around everywhere. I think these could probably be a little snugger 
it's probably a millimetre gap on a couple of the joints but other than that once this has got glue in it's going to be fairly solid not bad for a first go So for connecting the handle, I've got two choices. I've got my spade bit, which is 26 millimeters, or I've got my forstner bit, which is 25 millimeters. The actual dowel I'm gonna use for the handle is 25 millimeters, but having done a test fit, it's very snug when it comes to actually fitting it together. So I'm gonna go for the um, spade bit and have a little play in the handle. I've got a, an idea for how to fix the handle in place though. Um, give it a little extra touch. Once dried, I identified any gaps in the finger joints and corrected them using some sawdust and some wood glue and mixed it together to form a paste and filled the gaps, sanding once it was dry.
So this is the first time I've ever used fire or heat to treat wood. So I'm doing a poor man's imitation of shishuji ban, or you say shishuji, I say scorching. Once this is finished, it gives it a little light sanding, and then I'm going to apply some polyurethane varnish. I would have done, but I ran out, and I couldn't find any spare cans in the in the shed after this was done. So that's for a later date. So, it appears that my uh, camera battery died whilst I was talking for about five minutes and rattling onto myself. So, things that I've managed to do while the battery's dead is that I've added the copper rails to this. So this is 15 mil copper piping with some end caps in. These will stop the beer bottles and cans moving around on the sides. I've added the handle back onto it, uh, which is just a, a 25 mil dowel. And so I've, I've secured that in place with some square copper nails which I've drilled through, hammered through, and then just bent, bent across or bent over just to hold them in place. All right, time for some finishing touches, and I can say goodbye. <laughs> And that is how I made this beer carrier. Looks quite good, doesn't it, with the um, burnt ESG against the copper? Nice little offset. If I can make this again, which I'm probably going to be making a few of them in the next few weeks, but I'm going to make it a little bit higher. I don't normally have larger bottles of beer like this. I normally have the small dumpy bottles or cans. So, to me, I, I'm happy with the short one. But if it was for somebody else, probably a little bit taller. Um, Few new tricks. Never burnt wood. Playing with copper. One of my friends on Instagram has been uh, makes models or makes um, bits of artwork out of copper, and I've just been intrigued with the colour of it. It just looks nice. I've got a few more projects coming up. I've got a, um, a Remembrance Sunday special project in in the pipeline. Um, I've got a few more bandsaw projects coming up now. I've got a brand new bandsaw. If you can think of anything that you'd do different or you'd like me to, like to see me do, leave it out in the comments down below. In the last couple of weeks I've decided to reprioritise my weekends and my filming schedule was getting a bit too hectic with my editing schedule when it comes to putting these videos on YouTube. So I'm now going to be releasing my videos on a Tuesday night instead of on a Sunday evening. So it gives me Monday um, time to edit or Sunday evening and relax before instead of getting them out and making a little mistake here, there and everywhere. So, in the top corner there's going to be a subscribe button and down the bottom corner there will be a playlist of my previous videos. In the meantime though, cheers.